Greetings and salutations, everyone. Dr. Tori Jo Hinks here with Intuitive Theories. And today, I was not planning on doing a video, even though I promised one. I was simply going to be asking my guides and ancestors and angels and everything what to do. Um, but when I do, I usually grab a couple crystals to help me figure out exactly what I'm asking. And today I grabbed my Labradorite, beautiful piece. And since it is a, I, I, I follow the moon. So I grabbed that. And today I went and grabbed this small little quartz cluster. I got this three piece. It's a three quart cluster, right? I got this back when my daughter was born. Cause then one became three. Cause then I had three children, two children and I found this and I was like, Oh yeah. Right. But it was pure white clear. It was just clear. It looked beautiful. And this morning I noticed that the, I don't know if you can see that or not. The iron in the quartz makeup has worked its way to the surface. I don't know if you can see that, but it is purple now. It is turning amethyst. And mind you, in chemical makeup, that means that this quartz was not pure and it had iron in its makeup. And to me, that's magical. <laughs> and for some reason, I wanted to share it because it does happen. Um, it's, it's not, oh my gosh, what did I do? It's the fact, ooh, it is the fact that it was already in there. It was, it was designed this way. And isn't that what life is about? Is the change and evolution and the growth of things. And so today I wanted you to join me on asking a question. A long time ago, the cardboard box for my tarot set died. And I had this really, really neat piece of material that I had found. And so I made a bag and I made a, a cloth for my deck and I love the colors. I even found a purple napkin that matched. So I have a bright purple inside. It's fun. So what I do, I don't know if everyone else does this, but what I do is I make the space I need. I'm not going to be asking for much, right? I just want a little guidance. It's just normal deck. I haven't even shuffled yet. King of Cups from the last time. But it's a beautiful deck to me. Anyways, I'll put my crystals on my cloth. And I will concentrate. Let's see if you can do see this. <laughs> it's always fun figuring out technology, right? Okay, so I have my, my crystals. Right? And I will hold my deck over top of my crystals just slightly right and I will put my in and out so I will make a conduit which is what Reiki is all about right oh my goodness my doggy is snoring I hope that's not too distracting <laughs> they're comfy um and I will slowly push and pull the energy out of my feet yeah, yeah. Can you move your body a little bit, love? There you go. Okay. She was all twisted. Any who's all, I'll hold it over and I'll, I'll push and pull my energy out through my feet, crown chakra, through my hands, all throughout my system and get that energy just flowing. Okay. And I remember when you're doing this, be highly hydrated. Drink your water. 
Maybe even drink. Okay, so I opened a bottle of water. Oh, I'm not sponsored. Right. Drink a bottle of water. I drank about that much before I got started on this video. Okay, because you're pushing and pulling energy. Energy is water. In our bodies, energy is water. It helps us move it fl more fluidly. Hence, um, okay. And make sure your feet are grounded. Make sure your feet are down on the floor. And as you start to push and pull energy and you're releasing that energy and pulling it through your feet, through the roots, into the ground, right? If you remember me talking about an old friend of mine, acquaintance, did a golden root meditation, grounding meditation. I highly suggest you look for that. Um, but put your roots down, get your energy flowing, open your crown, open all of the above. I mean, you have so many chakras going above you and around you. So you need to open up everything and just get everything fluid. Relax. And for me, when I feel a calmness in my fingers, I don't know how to explain that. It, it's a different wavelength, the different energy for me. Now I just simply shuffle. Usually I will shuffle back and forth depending on what the energy is leading me to do. There, I don't feel there is any certain one way with as many different types of characters and people and things we have going on in this life. There's not just one way. It's what feels right to you. So... Now, we start putting out the, to my ancestors, to my guides, to those that can see ahead and above me. Please show me what this moon cycle needs me to concentrate on. What do I need to do in order to take my next steps? What do I need to concentrate on? Please guide me. Let me know what to do. Okay. I added some more of the crystal energy, which is right in front of me. Now I'm going to do three cards. I'm going to do the situation so that I can understand where my guides are coming from. So the first one I put down. Situation. Now, the second one is present moment. So, what I'm needing to concentrate on. And the third one is, what will be the benefit? What is that next step? And, oh, I, myself, I resonate as an absent-minded professor. I can recall and come up with things, but at the same time, I have so many things that it's hard for me to remember. So don't feel ashamed if you cannot devote an area of your brain simply for tarot. Yes, it's pretty easy after you get working with it to get a good feel of the type of message coming through. Um, you can get a good feel of... of things, but I keep the book. I truthfully, I, I, I prefer to know, oh wow, it's right there. I prefer to know what was meant and then I can somewhat correlate a meaning and feeling emotion to the card's picture. So when you're reading tarot, you, you can slowly do it. Mind you, I don't read tarot all the time. I don't read it for friends. This is my personal guidance. This is my personal way to step back from any situations that I am in. To be able to say, okay, I don't get it. I need help. Kind of that couple videos back of asking for help without asking for help. This is how I do it. Okay, so now I have three cards. Let's see if I can... Okay, don't mind the mess. I have books everywhere. 
but let's put you upside down a little bit. Where are we? Okay, so we have a reverse justice. We have a reverse spades. And we have a ten of wands. So, now, woo, hope I don't make you dizzy. That's fun. <laughs> um, first one, justice. Now, when reading the books, the first bit is if it was the correct way, like the wands is. The wands is facing you. You can see it. It's not upside down. So for this first card, I need to not read the first part, which, yikes, but I can understand because I'm going through something, right? Okay, and the other side is imbalance, frustrations, disputes, abuse, indecision, and severity. In summary, I am searching for fairness. And you know what? <laughs> yep. Okay. That resonates with me. Okay, then the next one. See, that's the nine of spades. So now we've got to go all the way forward because the, the, the justice, the world, the hangman, the, the major arcana are first, right? And so you got to go through and find the spades. Remember, it's the nine. nine of spades and remember once again this spades is reversed so forget the first part and go to yeah doubt shame scruples fatality and something it symbolizes fatality now mind you it's cold right it's dark and yet those blades are clean so going through some doubt and some shame, those, that's, the, that's the main thing I need to concentrate on and learn that there is not a fatality in all. Now, mind you, at the same time of that darkness and those blades being clean, I see light. So maybe the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, and now, and, and yeah, I would agree, these are things I need to work on. I need to work on my doubt and my shame in order to get past right now so now we go to wands which is just a little bit past that and we have ten ten of wands now this one's right side up <laughs> okay now give up old habits to start anew soon we will need to shed a load so that shedding of a load is releasing a burden or an oppression that's happening to me. And yeah, yeah, it would. If I work on this, it would definitely help me with that. Okay, now, mind you, this reading to me is, yep, yeah, I, I have no questions. Okay. Now, if I were to have a reading that it was like, Oh, I still don't know. I still don't quite understand. Then I would pull out an Oracle card deck. I have a couple. Now, mind you, I don't really look at, oh, I have to use this with this and I have to, right? Because there's no certain such way. I lead more with intuition. I highly, sorry, there's something odd on my box. Um, I lead with intuition. Now this deck, besides my moonology, this is one of my go-tos. Angels and Ancestors. This, uh, the artwork, let's see, Lily Moses. The artwork is phenomenal. The way it is put out and written by uh, Kyle Gray is, oh my gosh. I, I have no words. It helps, right? for me. Now, mind you, it might not work for you, but there's many, many, many different Oracle decks that you can look at that might resonate for you. That would help guide you in a way that you feel comfortable. Okay? This is part of your spiritual toolbox. So now, right on the inside of this box that holds the deck and the book is your 
bit that you need to say, which is really convenient, right? You don't have to search through the big, thick book, which is just so helpful. I mean, like again, I, I like to go back to what it is meant to be, not what I resonate with. Because if I resonate with a part of it, I only hear part of it. And someone else might resonate with another sentence in here that I wasn't quite feeling at the time. So, you kind of have to work with that. Now, like I said, uh, this deck is beautiful. Look at that. Of course, I am highly partial to owls myself. I love owls. But, I mean, it's it's just, there's so many, whoop, so many gorgeous inspirations. Okay, so now this, with this deck, it is suggested that you say guardians of the four corners, mother in the earth, father in the sky, angels, ancestors, sacred ones. I call on you and welcome you here now. I set the intention that whatever is gained from the lessons learned from this tool will be dedicated to all the growth of all beings in all places. <sighs> Sorry, I felt a super cold chill for a moment. And that tells me they're here. Okay, now once again I will use the crystals, okay, and I will ground myself and I will feel the energy from around me and those gathered here to give guidance and direction. Remember while you're doing that, you're pushing energy out your crown. In through your feet, through your body loop, which is up a leg, up your main torso, through an arm, out your hands, on both sides, okay? And it goes up, and around, loops, out, oh. It, once you get working on that conduit, especially in Reiki, you should be able to feel that. At least I believe you should. I've heard others that say they do. Okay, so now I'm going to concentrate on the cards in front of me, because I already have my answer. And so I'm just going to ask for one more step that I can do in order to make this work. How can I stop the habit of shame and guilt? How can I make it to where I am no longer burdened by it? Then you pull it down. Hmm. And sometimes they're all kinds of beautiful. And fun. Star Ancestor. Isn't that beautiful? Follow the voice of your soul. The constellations. Look at that artwork. It's just simply beautiful. Now, now to me, I resonate with this card because I have always had a very strong pull to Egypt. For me, that's number one. That was the first thing I saw. Second thing I saw was the mountains, the numbers, the calculations, the, the all the stars. It's, it's, it's a beautifully drawn card. Okay, now, now I go to the book, Star Ancestor. With this book, it's so huge. Well, comparatively, it has so much information. It's not huge. It's, it has so much information. I have huge books right over here. <coughs> this is tiny. Okay. We're looking for Star Ancestor. Here it is. 76. Oh, 76. Sorry, that was the year I was born. I know. Getting old. Getting experienced. Getting wise. Star Ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. The message. Heed the messages coming directly from your soul. So that download, if you will, about the star ancestors is a term for extraterrestrial, extra, extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to the healing and growth of the world. 
These incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they're remembering their starry connections, and those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support, and that your friends from the stars can help you if you're willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting with you and following your soul's deepest calling. The extended message, there's a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be, be a bright light in the world, and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration. That has been coming your way recently and is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn into a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You are being drawn towards a road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up a corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Oh, my. I needed that. How about you? That is how I would gain guidance. Feel better. Know that I'm not alone. For me, it shows that they're always around you. Your guides, your ancestors, those that are trying to help you are always there. And utilize them. Because I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better. So now, you need to go, if you do have a tarot deck, or an oracle card deck, or whatever you might have, if anything, just go sit, go put on some frequency music, and listen. You might get pictures, you might get thoughts, you might get visuals, like Oh, yeah, those kind of things. Go receive your downloads. They can help through all of it. And if this message resonates for you like it did for me, then I hope it helped. Any whizzle. This is a long one. Many blessings. And until next time, stay around. This world needs us. Listen to him.